All right, time to cut the music for a minute, get a little serious. So uh, he looked at me and he goes, it's time for testimonies. You know, even strong guys need a break, amen? So tonight we've decided to bring up two heavy champ testimony people up here and they are just like, they've been working out all day for this very moment. Mel Kuhn, come on up here. Where you at Mel? Come on up Mel. Wait a minute, where's your weightlifting clothes? You look like you're going to Hawaii or something. I am. Oh, okay, all right. So Mel's gonna give us a quick testimony about God's greatness here. Aside from having him as my Lord and Savior, the thing he's led me to do, first of all, in my life that was worth anything was lead me to my wife and kept me with her, kept me with her for 62 plus years. And it wouldn't be possible without Jesus Christ. I can tell you that right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for that. Thank you, Mel. All right, who's my next? Sandy Holtzom, where are you at? You didn't, come on up. I thought you'd low crawl underneath the pews. She's not paying attention. See, she's ignoring me. That's all right. Where's, I thought you were going to low crawl underneath the pews to get up here or something, you know? Uh, okay, so Sandy's going to give us a little bit of a testimony too. Now listen, I bet he's back there hoping you're going to talk a little bit longer than Mel. Okay, so you know you have up to three minutes. Okay, go. Okay, I'm going to start by saying I did not have all day to be thinking about it. I had like three minutes to say one thing, to say something that Jesus has done for me, and it's hard to think of one thing in a second because there's like a million things. Um, one of which is that I'm even here because I grew up in an unchurched home. And so the fact that I even came to know the Lord as a child and um, grow to love him before I became too old to really get any benefit out of it is just kind of knocks my socks off. So Jesus called me, um, and that is just the most amazing thing that he's done. And one of the things that I'm learning as I'm getting older, gosh, I haven't gone a minute yet, is that um, you just never quit learning. You never quit finding things that the Lord wants to take you through or to or use you for. And um, so I think that's just pretty exciting. There was a woman early in my Christian walk who, her name was Irene Ranson. And she was at the very first women's retreat that I ever went to. And I think she was 83. And all the other older women stayed in the nice cabins. And she stayed in the the junky cabins with all of uh, the rest of us people. Like, so there's 12 people in one room. And one day um, she was on her bunk and she was writing in her notebook and someone asked her what she was doing. And she said that she was just taking notes. She was reading her scripture and she was just wanting to make sure that she knew that she was doing what God wanted her to do. She wanted to be able to figure out what God wanted her to do. And I thought, she's 83. I was like 25. And I thought, you know, you don't ever get to the point where you're done, do you? And I thought, that's what I want to be like. So if you are around and you know me and I lived 83, remind me of this so that I'm still looking for what God wants me to be doing with my life. All right, it's time for our other man of fitness. Where is Thomas at? Come on up here, Thomas. Now, Thomas. It's 646. You only have three minutes. What's he been telling you not to do? Don't give up. So you, are you strong in the Lord? Yes. All right. Do you believe in the Lord? Yes. Then tell us what you believe about the okay. Lord. Hello. Um, I don't have that long of a message. I am so sorry. But um, I've been told to tell one thing which the Lord made me strong enough to do, and that is really moving here. And in the aspect, I mean that before moving here, I was in a very ungodly time of my life. I was not in a very Christian situation. I was not a very great believer. And in moving here, the places I got to go and the people I got to meet, whether it was to the Christian school I go to or to the church I end up going to, the people I met and the situations I got to there um, really led me to changing my entire life around. And the Lord brought me to that situation and he gave me the strength to go through that situation. 
and make new friends and do new things and fight for him. And I've preached a couple sermons and I've lived my life for him as much as I can. And I completely give that up to him because all those chances I've always gotten have been up to him. And I see people with testimonies like his and the strength like his to go through with God's missions, and I really just see how great of a Lord he is for bringing people through situations. All right, good job. I, I better watch it because you guys are talking so short, you all might start expecting my sermons to be like that. 